All right, guys, we have $20, and we're going to give this $20 bill to Chef Vinod and see what he can do with 20 bucks. Let's see. Okay, what's the first thing you're looking for right now? Peppers and some onions. Okay, one twenty-nine. Two small onions. <laughs> one small piece of ginger. A few cloves of garlic. <laughs> and you can break it off like that, huh? Yeah. You're paying by the way. Add some color, that's what. Green pepper and a red pepper. One bunch of cilantro, okay. Yeah. I know a place where you can get it for 54 cents, man. Now we need the protein. You have macaron? Yeah, how many pieces? Okay, this looks good. You how do you pick your mackerel, chef? See, look at the eyes, they're fresh. Look at the gills, they should be red in color. You should, if you press it, you should not get your fingerprints on it. Mm. So it's, it should it's, be nice and firm. firm, it should be nice and firm. Still don't have CBD. Okay, let's go for it. Can you just cut it and just take out the intestines? Okay. I always transport fish in, you know, with some ice. So you got our protein and our produce. What else yeah. are we looking for, Chef? What is the vehicle in which we are going to serve this fish. I'm thinking of dosa made of a fermented batter of ground lentils and rice. This is basically urad dal. Urad dal is uh, completely black in color. It, this is polished. This is how the old urad dal looks like. Urad dota, $3.99. Now we need rice for one pound for $1.79. Let's do sugar, $1.99. 2% uh, milk, one quart. Okay, hey, that's sick. Hey, make sure it doesn't exceed 20 bucks. $20 for Lamonte. <laughs> <laughs> Voila, $15.75. Right. 20 bucks. All right, guys, so we just got back from Lotte and we got these bags of ingredients. $20 worth, right, Chef? Yep. Okay, actually, not $20. I think it's less than 20 bucks. 15 bucks, 15 bucks. All right, well, let's get started cooking. What are you about to make, Chef? an Indian style fish taco. With this, we're going to make dosa batter. So we'll make an appetizer called paniyaram, and then we're going to make a taco, a fish taco, and we're going to have dessert. First step is, let's take lentils and rice, and we're going to soak them in water at least for an hour or two before grinding them, and then we need to ferment them. So that'll take overnight. Okay, what are we doing now, Chef? I'm just measuring the rice. One cup, two cups, rinse it well. How many times do you rinse your rice, Chef? Uh, till it's nice and clear. Yeah, and you're going to soak the lentil as well. One part of lentil to four parts of rice. So you need only half a cup? Yeah. Now washing is the same concept? Yeah. Okay. A teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. It aids in fermentation and the fermentation process. So we soak this for an hour or two, grind the lentils separately and the rice separately, and then we're gonna mix them together, add a little bit of salt and keep them for fermenting, and then voila. Nice, and why did you choose a mackerel? Number one, I really like mackerel. It's a very oily fish. And number two, it was the most inexpensive fish. I go like that. I don't need that. Now we're going to just fillet this fish like this. Nice fillet. Oh, you don't want this part of it. Okay, what is that? That's from the intestine side, you know, all this. Oh, intestines. Yeah. Chili powder, turmeric, this is coriander. Throw in some spices here. How long has this been in the water for? Uh, this has been in the water for about two hours now. This is the Urad Dal Gota that we are going to grind. Now we add two cups of rice. So here again, just pour a little bit of water. Ooh, look at so this. Super now, smooth. We have the lentils and the rice. They both became kind of like a paste yeah. after you grinded them. Once it's fermented, you add the salt. And how long do we ferment for? for like overnight. So we can sleep yeah. over. Yeah, absolutely. So now winter time is kind of tricky. You should keep this um, in a warm place. Or you can also put uh, the light on in the oven. You just keep it under in that 
without the oven oven is not on but just the light of the oven oh, keeps it warm okay. so expert tip huh yeah and another uh, trick in some restaurants what they do is they also add one teaspoon of chickpea flour sometimes what it does is it gives you a nice golden color so we have your batter we come back tomorrow and okay. it's fermented then we'll make our all right then 24 hours so let's see we had kept a batter in fermented see how this? do you know it's ready you can see this holes or you can even touch and see it a little bit a little bit of the tartness sourness comes in so it's a natural fermentation process next step is to the pickle masala a little bit of vegetable oil that's fennel seeds it's winter time so most of it is gone this is the curry leaf Okay, the oil is hot. Now I'm going to add a little bit of mustard seeds, and the mustard seed is going to do what's called the happy dance. It starts popping. See, a little bit of cumin, fennel, tiny bit of this fenugreek seeds. That's it. Wow. This one you don't add too much, okay? Because you don't want it to be thicker. Oh yeah, they're popping. They're popping. Garlic. You got to stir. Ginger. Ginger in, nice. Yeah. Okay. Most of the onions will put in half of the pepper and the salt. Wow. This is the pickling spice. I'm gonna add a little bit of this. And then I'm gonna throw in some vinegar. Oh nice. So you added the other half of your veggies in. Why? Why not? Keep some of the crunch at the end. Ooh, you scrape it off yeah, with a fork. Scrape huh? it off with a fork. Okay. Uh, for old people like us, we avoid the skin because of the fat is in the skin. Nice. We are going to make some dosas now. Okay. And then, voila! Ooh, that's what it does. Dosa number two. Yeah. Dosa is also popular with vegetarians because it's got lentils and rice. So we have uh, proteins and carbs. Now, how many more tacos do you think you can make with all the filling? Just uh, four more. For 15 bucks, you can get seven dosa tacos, huh? Okay. Dosa taco with a mackerel filling. Let's give it a try. Wow. Mm. Now that's amazing. Do you have any thoughts about your dosa taco? Love it. I'll say the same. Nice crispy on the outside with some beautiful filling on the inside. We got appetizer and dessert coming up next, right? Yep. Uh, when I saw those leftover batters, I thought, why don't we come up with an appetizer? So we're going to make something called a paniyaram. Paniyaram is usually um, when you have leftover batter and it's fermented a lot. So to this batter, dosa batter, you remember you had half an onion left? In this case, we're going to chop the onion. Oh, we just throw it in there, huh? Then we have a little bit of ginger left. Green chili, this is optional, this is for my garden. Okay. It is spicy, so what I recommend in this case is to make sure you fine chop them really, really fine so people get only a bit of it at a time. It's very fine. Cool. Let's go. Let's throw in a little bit of cumin. Okay. So what I'm doing is heating up some oil. I'm going to add some mustard seeds. I'm waiting for the oil to get hot. I'm going to add a little bit of lentils. This is urad dal, you know, the one which yeah. you use for the dosa. Mm -hmm. So what this does is again, it gives you a crunch. I'm just frying these lentils. And this time, if you have curry leaves, you can add more. We are exhausted, we don't have any more. If you like nuts, you can add nuts. We have cashews at home, peanuts, or I don't know. Oh, so you do have peanuts. I have some peanuts. Okay. I would have preferred cashew, but why not? Now I'm going to throw all this into this. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, just mix this. Here we go, just put a little bit of oil. Here again, you want it really health conscious, you can put a tiny bit of oil, or you can fry it like that. It's up to you. So depending on the size, you want a bigger one? Add more. Covered. Flip this guy a little bit like that. Oh, wow, a little, like, little cute little, like, little egg bites almost. That's the big one. Wow. Gourmet appetizer, chef. Yeah. Looks like a little egg bite you get from Starbucks, but he had no budget for chutney, so we're just gonna go with the stretch sauce. 
Mm. Fluffy. And it's light. Now we're on to our dessert. We're gonna Put make a simple dessert, creme caramel, known as caramel custard, which is one of the oldest desserts I would think of. This is the first thing I learned in catering college when I went. Basically, it's got some egg, sugar, milk, and that's it. And whatever flavor you wanna add. Just two eggs into this, twist them. And this one, I'm just gonna use the yolk of another egg. Okay. <laughs> just quarter cup. Yeah. You got some milk. Two milk. Three cups I should use it. I still have left. Just to avoid. A cup, maybe three fourth cup. Okay, yeah. three fourth cup. Sugar. So these are the molds that you're gonna put everything into, I'm assuming. Yeah. Huh? And if there is left, I'm going to use it. Alright, you got milk boiling, sugar and water caramelizing. Oh, oh. That's, it. That's, it. That's it. Oh! That's it. <laughs> <laughs> So now what do we have to do now, chef? Okay, so you're going to temper the milk into the egg, I'm assuming? Exactly. You don't want to make scrambled eggs, right? Indian coffee, huh? I'm so curious what this is going to taste like. Ooh. Check that out. We have an oven which is on at 325 degrees, maybe for about Half an hour or so. I'm going to pour some water in the, in this pan. We had some steam. Very cool. Hopefully our creme caramel must be done. Ooh. Wow, check that out. Okay, so our dessert, our third course from our $20 budget. Wow, look at that. Nice and jiggly. All right, let's dig in, chef. One bite. Oh wow, dude, I like the texture of that. And a little bit of coffee in there. So three courses with 15 bucks. Chef Vinod, you killed it. What did we make today? Can you recap for We us? made, uh, as an appetizer, paniyaram. Paniyaram is with a dosa batter of uh, fermented batter of lentils and rice. And then we made um, a fish taco with a dosa. And mm -hmm. then we made uh, crumb caramel with coffee. Oh yeah, where can people find you? On Instagram at Chef Vinod, on Twitter at K Vinod, TikTok at, at Chef K N Vinod. Okay, and uh, your restaurants? You wanna shout out your restaurants yeah. too? The restaurants are Indique in Washington DC, at Indique DC, and at Bombay Bistro uh, in Rockville, Maryland. Okay, well Chef, thank you, it was a pleasure.